All right, hard to believe, really. The Tribeca Film Festival celebrating 20 years. Wow. Brainchild of Robert De Niro, Jane Rosenthal, Craig Hatkoff. Festival was created to bring New Yorkers and tourists back to Lower Manhattan, of course, following the 9-11 terror attacks. Well, two decades later, it's doing just that and a whole lot more in a different way this year. The Tribeca Film Festival has become one of the most well-known and respected. Yes, not just because of the names, but because of what they bring to us. Yeah, really. And then I show up. But you <laughs> elevate everything, <laughs> No, I do not. I do not. <laughs> but family-friendly flicks, documentaries, short films, stand-up comedy, you name it, the Tribeca Film Festival's got it all. And it's always a blast when I get to meet up with my besties, Miss Jane Rosenthal and Mr. Robert De Niro. It's really more like a family reunion. And since we didn't have one last year due to the pandemic, this particular reunion was super-duper special, and I made sure they knew it. Happy Saturday, Miss Rosenthal. Happy Saturday, Mr. De Niro. This is well, the happiest Saturday of my entire life. And I will not <laughs> you because you're, you might <laughs> don't tell the others. But seriously, I have not smiled since last year when they said we're going to have Tribeca Film Festival last year. I have not smiled. But look what's back. My smile? Because <laughs> you guys are back. Seriously, I am so excited. You have no idea. So, Ms. Rosenthal, we're going to start off with you because you're always great at giving us a lineup of what to expect. You're going to see In the Heights, uh, In the Heights, In the Heights, and then you're going to have a simulcast uh, from uh, the Bronx to the Battery, Brooklyn, Staten Island, uh, and it's going to be a citywide celebration of In the Heights. In the Heights. After that, you can see films free uh, on all of uh, all of our screens. Uh, also, a wonderful celebration of Juneteenth and uh, Black creators, uh, whether it's uh, short films, documentaries, or um, XR and gaming. Uh, it's just going to be a uh, really fun, fun um, we know. ten days. We know how you two roll, so we're not going to be surprised by all the greatness. So, Mr. De Niro, the Tribeca Talk series is always super impressive. I know this year we have the cast and director of Fargo, the Five Hard Beats, Royal Tenenbaums, like, coming together again. But just when we thought it could not get any cooler, sir, there's a major one that you're involved in that will have fans raging with excitement. Do you see what I did there? The Raging Bull. Let's hear it for the great Jake LaMotta, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Um, I, I hope everybody shows up or, you know, in, even now things are still slightly tentative, I guess, about that. But uh, but uh, not that they won't show up, but it's just that because of the COVID and everything. But I, um, though it's, it's waning and going away, um, hopefully. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be... Uh, a special uh, get together, if you will. But anything you guys do is capital S P E C I A L. So yeah, of course it's going to be special. Oh, and Miss and Miss um, Rosenthal, I heard. I know you said in the Heights because you know it's kicking off the it's kicking off the festival, right? And it has three things I don't have: great acting, great singing, and great dancing. So Mr. De Niro already has a great dancing, great acting covered. So which of the other two do you, would you say you're decent at, Mr. Sir? Singing oh, well, the dancing. dancing, dancing and singing, of course. <laughs> Both? Yeah. Ms. Rosenthal, what about you? Which one would you be great at? Which one am I? Yeah. 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 Uh, neither. I just stay Why? behind. The... I like to I do not. I do not believe yeah. you. Okay, so you guys. Before they kick me out, because people always kick me out of stuff, I don't know why, but here's the deal. I have great news that involves like the Tribeca Film Festival, because the first time I saw you guys was of the 40th anniversary of Taxi Driver, and I revealed that I could not ride a bike. I don't know. I don't know. I, I was so scared. I couldn't balance. You couldn't use training wheels? No, they would, I asked. <laughs> you can do those a tricycle, wide, a tricycle. Those big beach bikes. Can you feel sorry for me now, Mr. Dinner? And then Mr. Nero said that if I learned how to ride a bike, that he would, we would do bike riding interviews together. We can do an interview riding bikes together. Right, and then Ms. Rosenthal, you said since you're his best friend, you vouched for him and said he was gonna keep his word. And guess who just learned to ride a bike? A five-year-old taught me. Goji. Goji, you could do this. Great. Are Good you proud or what? Oh, sure, great. It's okay, terrific. so is this you acting because you're a great never actor, late. or is this you being really proud of? No, I, it's it's great that you you learn. It's never too late. Yes, yeah, see, so, so I have the two of you to thank 
and Ms. Rosenthal, if you want to come by, you can join us with, for the bike ride. I feel like if you're involved, he'll do it, actually. We can do tandem, and then he can be on his own, because he's probably great at that, too. Are you down? I'm down. Let's go. <laughs> you heard her. She said, let's go. The Tribeca Film Festival kicks off today and runs through June 20th, with movie screenings and events taking place in all five boroughs. To join in on the festivities, you can head on over to TribecaFilm.com for all of the listings and ticket information. I